In this video, we're gonna be testing another old computer to see can it detect an NVMe drive with a PCIe adapter, so let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and builds to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com. Link is in the description. So I've had a lot of people <laughs> hit me up asking about this video that I did a while ago using this um, PCIe adapter to add an NVMe drive to your computer. Now, to be quite honest, there's no way for me to test out everything. Um, some of the examples that people have been asking me to test out, I mean, I just don't have access to that system. But a recent person asked me to test something out with a Dell computer, and I just happened to have a Dell computer, which is my pastor's old computer. This was a 2010 um, i3 type of computer with only eight gigs of memory and I recently upgraded his computer um, so I have the leftovers here so I wanted to test this out with an extra NVMe drive that I have for my Ryzen Tosh that I'm building pretty soon so I'm gonna drop that in here and does this older system pick up this NVMe drive so let's go ahead and cut over to the overhead video all right so let's go ahead and open this up here Got my iFixit tools here. All right, so like I said, this is a i3 um, system here. Um, I honestly don't recall what the processor was in here, but this is pretty old. Um, mainly, the system was so old that hooking up a webcam to it actually was problematic for my pastor. So what we're gonna do is we have one slot here which is what we're gonna use. And we have one available slot to put this in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my NVMe drive here and put this on this adapter. And this is the system that, I mean, the drive I'm gonna be using for my Ryzen Tosh that I'll be building later this week when all when my motherboard comes in mainly and the processor and power supply <laughs> all right so let's see let's get this i need a smaller head for that Now, I had already recently reinstalled this system with a SSD that I had left over because I honestly thought the SSD was bad. Um, looks like the person who did have it, SSD is fine. I think the motherboard was just dead. All right, so this has a fresh install of, install of Windows on here. And... There we go. So let me hook this up to my ATEM so we can see what's going on in the BIOS. And we're gonna test it out to see if it works. Because the main thing we're trying to see is, does this get detected in the BIOS first off? And then does it show up in the operating system? All right, so give it some power here all right so let's cut over here and we're input number four let's go ahead and turn the system on everything is on we're just waiting to get an image there we go and let's go into setup and we want to see do we 
show this drive. So we're gonna look over at boot. All right, let's see, USB drive. We can change that. That's when I was trying to install everything. Boot manager, let's disable that. Let's look at the drives. Hmm, it's not picking up anything. It's only showing one, which is not good so far. But again, this could be something completely different because it could show inside of the, inside of Windows, but that would show that we can't boot from this if the OS isn't seeing it. All right, so let's see. Nothing, nothing. That's the SSD. Yeah, so nothing is being detected from the BIOS standpoint. On board. Let's make sure we just don't have anything disabled that could be causing some issues here. Optical drive, yeah. It's not seeing it. All right, so let's go ahead and I've rebuilt the system for our chapel. So let's go ahead and kick out of here and let's go all the way through Windows and let's see, does it show up as a drive in Windows? All right, let's go ahead and log in. And maybe Windows will show. All right, let's see. Nope. But let's check one last thing. Maybe the disk just isn't, because it is a brand new drive. Maybe that's the reason why I can't see it. So let's look under disk management. Okay. The disk is actually detected in Windows. So as a boot drive, no. But as a drive in Windows, yes, because there is the drive right there, 512. And that's the silicone power drive right there over PCIe. So yeah, so this will work in Windows. I just don't think it will work as a boot drive because the BIOS doesn't see it at all. All right, so I guess for the person who asked, will it work? Yes, the windows will pick it up, but the BIOS, it doesn't look like it's an option for being a bootable drive. So eh, um, we'll see. So like I said, as best as I can, now I do have some other parts for another broken down computer. I have a, a i5 sitting around here somewhere, but that's a newer system. So I know that will, will work but it's just, will it work in detecting, um, showing up in a BIOS? That part, I don't know. But for this one, BIOS, no, but Windows, yes. So it could always be a secondary drive. So hopefully that helps. Um, as best as I can, when I get more parts, I, I think I might, this might be a rolling test to see if anything like this will work on the system. But for this one, no. Now I do actually have an older system at the church that when I install this system tomorrow to replace, maybe I'll bring that system here and see if that one will work with this as well too. But um, anyway, for those who asked, there it is. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And I wanna give a shout out to the patrons who made this video possible. Their names are on the screen right now. And if you like what we're doing here, you can become a patron for as little as $1 a month. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next video later.